I moved a few years ago, and I've been looking for this bad boy. I finally found it. I finally found it. And this sucker is full of all kinds of cool... Or I think it still may be uh, full of stuff to fix computers. So uh, I take modems, and, and people... I basically did house calls, kind of like, you know, the 1800s, the doctors did house calls that came to you. And that's why I did for computers. So I bring modems... Uh, CD-ROMs, boot CD-ROMs, uh, virus scanners, things like that. Because most people, uh, their house got struck by lightning, lost their modem, uh, got viruses, their computer won't run, or it's running slow, that kind of stuff. And that's what I brought in here. So I, I tell you what, I made a lot of money doing that. And a lot of fun. So I'm hoping it's all in here. If not, it's going to be kind of sad. And this box here, it's kind of cool. It's got wheels on the bottom here, kind of like a, a rolling uh, a suitcase that you take to the airport. It's got a handle that slides out. So I got as much good stuff in here as I could. And... Let's see if it's still in there. So let's crack it open, see what's in here. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, looks kind of like a catch-all. I see lots of different cables. Oh, look, look at this. An old Logitech camera. A lot of USB cables. Kind of nice. I think those just got added in before the move. Uh, Anti-static wrist strap. This was always good because you put your wrist in here and then you ground it to the computer so you don't, you know, uh, fry some chips and things like that. So that's kind of cool. Anti-static bags, always good to store stuff in. Oh, a little toolkit. This one's Cisco. I had a really big toolkit. It was kind of a fold-out one. This is just kind of a very, very basic, just some screwdrivers, some basic tools you need to open a computer up. Then, oh. A IDE cable. Kind of cool. Kind of give you the, the age of when I did a lot of this because uh, I don't think SATA, SATA was kind of newish. Ooh, an Ethernet cable. Kind of cool. Oh, here's something really cool. Uh, this is a LCD power supply tester. A lot of times, oh, my computer won't turn on. You can test the power supply. And I think this still would work on some. You can see you can plug in different kinds of power supplies and Molex connector and it would power up and it would tell you it give you all the stats about how much five volts 12 volts all the, the pins and stuff like that so if your power supply is more or less good this was pretty accurate uh, sometimes you know it'd power up this but it won't be having no power you know to power a computer but this was kind of a cool thing to have so that's kind of neat let's put him back over here and then oh this is something i've been looking for this is thermal joint compound. You can see Wakefield. This is the best thermal paste for CPUs. This guy here, and of course you can see it's a big bottle. And this here will literally last you a lifetime, if not two, because there is so much thermal paste in here. But I'll tell you what, this stuff is fantastic. And I'm not sure where you can buy it. You probably get it online somewhere. And I think it says, oh yeah, uh, reduce heat as much as by 60%. So yeah, this stuff is fantastic. I use this on every CPU I ever put in. Or if it, you had an older CPU, you want to scrape off the old crusty thermal paste, this stuff here. And if you get it on your hands, it, you can see I already got it all over my hands. It's very hard to wash off, so that was kind of fun. Oh, here's something cool. A IDE SSD. I'm getting thermal paste on everything. Uh, let's see. Uh, some memory. Uh, digital. Oh, these are 110 blocks for phone lines. Oh, uh, VGA cables. These are always good to have. Um, VGA cable. Power cord. Nice to have those. Sometimes, you know, somebody loses their power cord. Power supply for a laptop. I think that was my old laptop. Oh, look, some gloves. Not sure what those were for. And let's see. Uh, blank CD maybe. And oops, what's this guy? Oh, a USB cable. Look at that, a black one. Kind of cool. Huh? I think it's USB 2.0. What was black? Black was 2.0 or 1.0? I can't remember. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's a Molex to SATA connector. Kind of cool. I think a lot of this stuff just ended up being in here. Um... I don't know what that is. Some kind of plug. Or some, oh, here's something cool. A SATA hard drive. What size is this? Toshiba. Uh, can you see it on here? You probably could see it. I don't know what size this is. Hmm, don't know. And then, let's see, more cables. Oh, phone cables. Did a lot of phone repairs. When people still use the old-time phones. 
And we have a serial, yeah, nine pin serial adapter. Oh, this is something cool here. Oh, here's a audio jack. And this guy here is a fiber optic light. And this is kind of a very simple way to test the fiber optic cable. So what you do is you take this fellow and you plug him into your 110. Plug this guy into your bulkhead and into the end of this fellow. And it's got a little on off, but there's no batteries in it. But you unscrew this, take the cap off. And it's got a little laser, so it's just a little laser. And you would plug this end in here. And this would go into your bulkhead and you shine light. So what you do, you follow your fiber optic cable. Say you got a thousand foot fiber optic cable. You go to the far end and see where the lights come out or if the lights come out. Kind of a cheap way to, okay, we get light through it. It's probably good. So that's kind of cool. Kind of neat to see that. I'm looking for this too. I don't do much of this anymore. I used to do fiber optic cables all the time. Terminations, uh, testing, all that kind of stuff. Patching through, a lot of fun, very stressful because you do an awful lot of walking, an awful lot of walking back and forth. I'll just pin back up and see anything else good in here. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, I'm looking for this. These are adapters. So these go from USB to, look at this, Ethernet, USB to mini USB, micro, mini USB. See, A to B, uh, this is um, Ethernet to phone, so this becomes a modem, your USB line becomes a modem, Ethernet. So this kind of would look like little gender changers, but so you wouldn't need a modem, you still, it'd, be, it'd be like a software modem, so it's kind of cool to find that again. That's fine, I know there were some more cables to this stuff. Put them back in here, get in there. Get in your bag, baby, come on. I know you don't want to go in there. Getting hot. It's actually kind of hot in here. And then, let's see. That's nothing. Oh, here's a uh, plug this into your phone line, and you get three phone lines. It kind of splits the pairs up. Kind of cool. Then a little small USB cable. Go a little shunt. Here's another IDE cable. Oh, here's some more memory. Oh, no, this is just a, uh, I think this is Windows CE or something. Here's some memory. A bunch of memory. Oh, that's not it. There's not memory in here. Here's some memory. What is this? This is a, oh, 512 megabyte PC2, 3200. Kind of cool. And here's some connectors. You can see for making your own Ethernet cables. I did a lot of that kind of stuff. Oh, little feet, little rubber feet. More memory. What's this guy? This guy is a one gigabyte PC2. It looks like that's about it. Oh, wait. I think there's some more stuff here. Oh, here's a USB cable. Then, in here, zip ties. Oh. Oh, here we go. Preparing XP at eight commands. And let's see what else we got in here. We got... Uh, Non-destructive total rebuild options. Huh. Some cheat sheets, I guess. And I think that's about it. Used to be a lot of. Used to be well organized. Oh, here you go. Uh, VGA to this DVI adapter. And that's about it. Oh, well, like I said, this guy made me a lot of money. And it used to be all nice and organized. Had all my pieces and parts in here. Now I think it's just kind of ended up being throw everything in and go through it some other time so kind of sad but a very nice box i missed you my old friend